Hey guys, it's Echo on Bushcraft here, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Swiss Army Victorinox Hercules model. Now, um, a few basic stats. This has, I think, a three-inch blade uh, made out of uh, stainless steel. Um, it had nine attachments, no, eleven attachments on this knife. Um, so, first thoughts on this, because I've had it for a year now, and I absolutely love this knife, because, um, just basically because of the quality. It is absolutely awe-inspiring, the quality of this. Um, now, I, as you can tell by the title of the video, love this knife. Um, now, this knife, um, out of the box, it comes razor sharp. Um, now, first thing I did when I got this for Christmas from my mum and dad was go and get a length of power cord about that long and it sliced through it no problem. <coughs> now, <coughs> this is a lock blade knife with a three inch blade, so um, I am allowed to have this. It's a lock blade, so you have to pull that down and then you can shut it. But if I open that and I don't pull that down, it's not going in. So if I just close that for a minute. Then, moving on here, we have the pliers. Now these are a good pair of pliers. They have this little spring here, um, which make, lets it bounce, uh, come back up so it's spring-loaded. This also has a wire cutter in it, uh, just in there, in the wire stripper. Then you have some small groove pliers, and then you've got large groove pliers. Um, it's got some good leverage. I mean, I've done up bolts with this, um, no problem. Then, under that, you have your standard screwdriver. If I just close that up. You have your standard screwdriver. This is quite a thick one. And this is what I generally use for if I'm um, doing work on um, maybe like a well, go-kart or something like that. That's what I would use it for. So I put this away because this goes under the pliers. Uh, like like so. Um, next in the line, you have a wood saw because this is a bushcraft knife. Um, so it has to, it has a wood saw. Um, not saying bushcraft ne knives need to have a wood saw, but I like bushcraft knives with a wood saw. So. This is a really nice wood saw. Um, I've used it to cut kindling, stuff like that, for when I make fires with my flint and steel. Now, I will be doing a review on the sheath I keep this in later on. So, but on this, um, so, and there's nothing underneath this wood saw, so if I just close that, that doesn't lock, so that just snaps down. Then you have some scissors. Um, same spring as the pliers, just a bit smaller. So these are also spring loaded. Uh, amazing scissors. I use these to wrap presents and cut sellotape, stuff like that. They do it without a hitch. Uh, it will cut this mesh on the table. Um, so generally a great a great pair of scissors to have it will also cut like gauze and stuff like and like mole uh, mole skin uh dressings now if i just fold that away again under these you have a thinner version of the standard screwdriver which i showed you earlier over here um i will i generally don't use this one but I use it for finer tasks. Um, I'm not really sure what I would use it for. Some people have uses for this. Um, so in the comments, just please like um, leave any uh, uses for that. 
Um, now you have, and this again, this goes under the scissors. So if I just, uh, it, they get a bit, your thumbnails do get used to it, but it can take a bit of time to get these up. So that hurts my thumb now. So I'm just, I'll leave this like that. Um, next up, I have got my uh, trusty can opener. Now this has two settings, it also has a flathead screwdriver on that and a wire snip I think, or wire um, stripper uh, and it's also a like kind of hook thing uh, and, if I, and that's got two settings so it goes like that and that's locked in and then up there and that's locked in. It doesn't lock though so you don't have to pull the trigger. Now on the other side, you've got, they're opposite each other by the way, nothing under these anyway. You've got your can opener and a smaller flathead screwdriver. Uh, and then you've got, as with all Swiss Army knives, you've got your toothpick. I use this quite a lot because I sometimes get stuff in my teeth. And then your standard pair of tweezers. Uh, here we are, tweezers. Now, this, and um, they just slot there and there on the side. Now, underneath you have your corkscrew, and this can be sometimes quite tricky to open, but I can open it quite easily. It's just with my fingers, they're, they're hurting now. Um, and then you've just got your corkscrew, this four loops. Um, so you can hold it like that and undo a cork to a bottle. And over here you have uh, a, what's it called, a hole punch for leather. This is a bit always a bit tricky to get out for me, uh, it, but after a bit of practice you can get it out quite easily. So my nails are getting flimsy now. Uh, here we are. So, and that's just, this can be used as a sewing needle, but I wouldn't recommend it to use it as a sewing needle. Uh, it's got a sharp edge here, point here, and you've got a little loop to put thread through there. So, hope you found this review useful. Um, uh, please subscribe and leave a like. They would both be greatly appreciated. Um, leave your comments on what you think I should do next and any kit you would recommend generally. So thanks guys, um, yeah thanks Echo on Bushcraft, signing off.